Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to change your Macintosh device language to Chinese. So this should be a pretty straightforward tutorial, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and open up System Preferences, which is located down in our System Dock. So go ahead and left click on that. Select the Language and Region button. And then underneath Preferred Languages, go ahead and select the little plus button down here. And in the search field, type in Chinese. I know there's different types of Chinese, so go ahead and select the correct one for you. So whether it's simplified or traditional, figure most of you guys probably be simplified here. Uh, again, it might be different depending on what you guys are speaking, which is fine. There's no problem with that. But just go ahead and select the most applicable option. And then select Add. Select the use Chinese and then whatever one you chose to do. I do believe simplified is more common. I'm not 100% sure on that. I'm just going off of whatever I think I've heard before. Otherwise, uh, select import source. If you got a different kind of keyboard, go ahead and select it. Otherwise, I'm just going to skip over that for now. And you should restart your computer for any changes that take effect. You can see some stuff changes, but I would recommend you guys restart your computer. And if you ever wanted to revert it back, you can always just go ahead and move your secondary language up by just dragging and dropping it up to the top of the list. And you can delete the secondary language by just highlighting over it and then select the minus sign, which will delete it from this list. Again, restart your computer in between any of these changes just so you make sure you get the full effect. And as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. do hope that I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.